welcome to West Bend, Wisconsin. As you can tell, it is an absolutely beautiful day outside. Birds are chirping, the grass is green, the sun's shining. <laughs> but um, no, we are almost here. Just gotta go around the block here. Um, I really hope this place has someplace dry to work in because this weather sucks. It is 32 degrees raining and it's really windy out there that's not a whole lot of fun in my opinion so i really hope they got a, a garage they pull you into problem is looking at the place on google maps it's a pretty small building so uh we'll see the rain is kind of light but it's still raining at 32 degrees so it's not fun um, also, I need to try to keep this tarp dry and dry it as much as I can. I still, jeez, I still don't know what I'm doing today. It's been hard to figure that out just because of stuff. Um, I'll get into that here in a minute. Um, hopefully we'll figure something out here pretty soon. This stuff is supposed to turn to snow here real soon this region here we're more on the south end of it but just like maybe five miles north of here they're expecting six to eight inches of snow today so that's pretty fun let's see what is should i turn in here i'm not entirely sure okay this place is bigger than i thought <laughs> figure out where I check in so I'm not entirely sure. Alright, well that's that. It's mess out there. It's turned into sleep now. Um, the guys were nice enough to uh, suggest leaving the tarp on the roll and uh, taking it inside on top of the roll so I had a whole bunch of that excess. I just had to carry it as we drove into the building over there and I was able to pull it up on a dry floor so the top of it's still soaked but the good news is the bottom is dry so that when I inevitably get another tarp load here in the next hour or so I can at least know that I'm not gonna be laying a wet blanket over it so that's that uh, I gotta take a picture of this paperwork send it to my people and uh, we're gonna go get some fuel and then find out what we're doing from there. Well, here's another look at a snowstorm for you. Seems like we're getting lucky this year. Um, in the fact that we're getting caught on all of them. But we're getting unlucky in the fact that every time we do, we're empty. <laughs> so freeway's not too bad right now, but it's definitely snowing over. Um, won't be long in my damn windshield wiper will be snowed over as well and not doing anything but we got just a six and a half mile drive to get to the fuel stop that i want to go to uh it sucks i looked at it yesterday and fuel was 375 now it's up to 384 i believe it was 383 maybe uh so kind of a bummer but whatever so that's where we're gonna go we're gonna sit there and it's right next to where we parked for tonight, which was uh, Richmond, Richard, Wisconsin, something like that. I don't know. So we're going to go over there and sort of figure out what we're doing. I won't be surprised if just to get out of this weather, I just start driving empty towards Chicago because it's only raining down that way. Um, south of Milwaukee, supposed to be just rain. Up here is snow. And there goes the windshield wiper starting to snow up. Okay, we're just gonna cruise 50 mile an hour and uh, get there safely. All right, we're booked. We're gonna head over to Richmond, Illinois, about 30 minutes from here, 20 minute drive, uh, or 20, 20 mile drive, 30 minutes away. We're gonna pick up some crates of stuff and take it down to Memphis. So that's what we're gonna do. We are right at the state line for Wisconsin, Illinois at Loves right now. 
pulled up here to look for look, look for work and found that one pretty quick so rate was decent i'd love to see more but it was about as good as it's gonna get for today i think so we're gonna hang on over there pick it on up head on down to memphis so we're gonna take the back roads on over there no need for the freeway weather is now it's just a misty rain we're out of all the snow so we missed that pretty good and uh yeah not much else to say there i had a headlight out i noticed it when i was getting fuel uh, my right side headlight decided it wanted to cease life which sucks because i have spares but the headlights i had in here were brighter than my spare so now i got one bright headlight one dim headlight so i'm gonna have to find me another equal replacement and i uh, put that in there not quite sure why it blew so quickly because those headlights are maybe a year and a half old um maybe two years at this point uh, but yeah i don't think it should have burned out that fast so whatever we're gonna go down this road I don't know if it's a truck route, but quite frankly, I don't care. So, that's the plan. It looks like it's okay. No signs are telling me I can't go here. <laughs> so, anyways, let's do a short time lapse on over here and I will pick you up at the load site. By the way, real quick, I do indeed have a working boost gauge now. So that's kind of cool. Um, it'll boost up right you saw there, about that 27 PSI. That seems to be normal. I have seen it go up to about 31 before. So now you know if you got a Cummins 8.3 rig for 330 horsepower and a thousand foot pounds of torque, you're making about 27 pounds of boost cool story. Talk to you in a bit. Here's a load. Yeah, air you're hearing is my uh, leveling valve. I just put that axle down so it's sitting a little tall back here. Um, I actually didn't expect to need that. This was, I was told this was 15,000 pounds, which technically, yes, I would. But because I have it all sitting up towards the front, I was expecting I could maybe get away without it. But my air scale showing I'm sitting at about 22 back here. So, we got that dropped down probably going to carry about three thousand pounds on that axle so no big deal but anyways this is what we got a bunch of railroad supplies uh not exactly sure what's in all these crates but something railroad related i know some of them are all the uh bolts and spikes i believe but uh that's what it is so i just gotta finish throwing some straps they just suggested that i could come out of the facility over there where it was just nothing but mud work over here on this road dead end road so i took that option so that's what we're gonna do it is cold still raining it's windy not as windy as some areas though but it's windy and 
and uh, I'm ready to get this done and then uh, get a nice warm shower. I could use one of them. in Tennessee parked up at the loves can't see much I'm surrounded by dry vans <laughs> uh, but we're at our loves um, I actually forgot and I just thought of this earlier this was the very first truck stop I ever spent the night in when I started doing OTR stuff and uh, I've I definitely don't remember it being as hilly as it was. This entire parking lot is just hills all over the place. I'm backed up uphill at the moment, and I was parked over down that way, but it was um, sitting on the side. And I'll show you here in a bit these dock plates that we loaded. It's a little heavy on the right-hand side, and because this truck only has one leveling valve for the rear suspension, um, that leveling valve is on the left hand side so it's leveling the rear axle to the lightweight side of the load that means the right hand side is sitting a little bit lower and when I parked over there um, the entire truck was just leaning over the rear suspension on the right side was completely smooshed <laughs> it couldn't hold itself up and even my front axle was completely smooshed so I ended up moving over here it's I think this spot is perfectly level you know on a horizontal plane um, but I'll show you the load here in a minute uh, so we loaded up these dock plates we got 10 of them they're going over to Clinton Tennessee which is just north of Knoxville and um, these plates are weighing in at about just a hair over 20,000 pounds 
So we're fully loaded and it's been a while since I've weighed this much with a bulky load. There's only one plate that sits over my headboard. The rest of them sit flush. Um, so that one plate is causing a little bit of drag. I'm sure my fuel economy is going to suffer. But it's all good. Um, yeah. Well, everybody, let's just quit wasting time. Let's show you what we got. So here we go. I'll give you a, an idea here. So we're looking at about a three finger gap right there. Do this right now. And we come over here. Yeah. I have barely a finger gap. So you can tell that's where the truck leans over a little bit. Yeah, you can't really see it from here. But anyways, this pallet here, these are the bumpers that your trailer would hit at the dock and those are obviously all the plates we got two straps on each one um and then over here i had to use edge protectors all the way up and down it because you could tell those plates they're sharp on the edges and especially those orange straps i wanted to want to take care of them since they're brand new well anyways we're going stay here for tonight and then um, we'll get going in the morning I can't tell if that's uh, some vegan vandalism right there or what that is but okay uh, anyway so we'll get going in the morning today's Friday so we're gonna park up at the house and uh, leave the truck at the storage unit and then we got to deliver these on Monday morning. We'll be about an hour away from the delivery. And then after that, I'll probably go back home. So probably sit there for another day or two. We'll see, see what's going on with work. But yeah, overall truck is doing good. First time ever, it hasn't been having issues. So I like that. So anyways, I'm gonna do one more walk down the side here so you can see and i think i'm gonna call quits so i'll talk to you guys later